Shraddha, your host today on Tua Talk segment. Our guest today is Shadani. Um, would you like to introduce about yourself? Uh, okay. Hey, hi guys. My name is Mama Shadani bin And I'm a 20 year old Malacan and I'm studying the course of BMMV. This one is my second year. Uh, uh, of course, I have to get So, yeah. <laughs> So this is so this is currently my second year. Yeah. Okay. So uh, my okay. If you guys are interested to follow me, so my Instagram my, my Instagram name is Shazani Xia Double. So you are welcome to follow me as well. Do you want to spell it out? So, so no. Hmm? Do you want to spell your Instagram? Oh, why not? S Y A Z A N I A X I A and two zeros. Yes, yes, guys. Please follow me. So I see a lot of you ten people are watching anime and stuff so I guess you're also into anime because anime is something related to Gantla and Gundam, right? Um, what's actually the difference about Gantla and Gundam? Okay, the difference between Gundam and Gantla is Gundam is actually the anime itself. I mean it's the show itself. In what it falls in anime is actually falls under sci-fi and manga genre. But for Gampla, actually, Gampla is actually the interpretation of the real, uh, how the Gundam, will the, the Gundam suits would look like in real world life, but in a smaller scale. And to easier to, in a small, in a real world scale. So that's the, between the difference between Gampla and the Gundam itself. That's cool. I see a lot of Gundam and Gampla in front of you. Um, would you like to show you can people about your art? Why not? Sure. Okay, how about we take this one? Okay, how do you? Okay, this guy over here. I think I, I think I bought about two years ago. And this guy, I have to say, this one, I think this one is kind of one of my favorites just for non gun, non really look like Gundam looks of the good of a mobile suits. So technically, this guy actually is a sniper unit, I have to say, it's because it's clear. It's, a so clear, cool. it's clear plastic, so you technically can just see to what to all of it? This one is a special one, but still you can find the normal ones in market as well in a cheaper price, I guess. In a cheaper price, so you don't worry about it. So yes, that's so cool. Um, this question is important. The thing was two years, so you're feeling for yourself, or you wanna sell that as well? It depends. Sometimes I just buy some. Sometimes I buy extra if if my friends want it. I say. Okay, come here. Give me, give me the, give me the money. Oh, cool. <laughs> no, um, but give me the money. Take it. Like, okay, just, uh, just pass me the money. I'll buy it for you. <laughs> um, would you like to show your gun to the YouTube people? Why not? Sure. Hang on. So anyway, here okay, you go. I can give you, give you the whole it. Oh, thank you. Uh, I have to be really careful with it. Yep. Um, do you wanna explain about? Uh, how long it took to do this and stuff? Okay, for this guy, I had to say, uh, since I was YouTube, so I take about two or three hours just to build it up. Two or three hours, and yeah. how old does this miniature cost? I mean, like, how old is it? For now, it's only really teaching for two years. Two years, and I'm still keeping it so nicely. How much is it? Okay, it's ranging about 150 to 200. Oh, 150 to 200? Yeah, Thank it you! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> what if I break it? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes this it's normally happens. <laughs> <laughs> so you fix it very fast? Sometimes I fix it depending on how broken it is. Like if I can fix it, like I said, okay, let's go, super good. <laughs> um so what inspired you on making this Google and Google? Okay, actually this actually was inspired by my cousin actually is really, they really influenced me because yeah, they, yeah, I always went to their cousin to their house, play games. So your cousin started like, play games. Then suddenly they open the laptop. It's like, oh wait, I see this. Oh my god, this is so interesting. So, so your cousin also do this? Yeah, in the past he does. He he also does does this hobby, but suddenly he has to stop because yeah, sometimes sometimes study is more important than yeah. hobby, so he had to quit. So I think it's okay, but I still keep it up. So you're still coping up with this? Yep, I still coping so up. So in an average, how much do you do in a year? Depends. Sometimes 
in terms of my, so, of my budget as well that I have. So most, I think the most I have done so far is about 36 model uh, kits yeah. for you. The last one I think I did is 12 for you. So since how old you are starting on the Kuantua and Guna? Actually I started at form 2, it's so 14 years old. Wow, that's yeah. so early. Yeah, I have to say I did assemble one myself, it's really <laughs> in form 1 and in form 2. In, oh, sorry, in form 2. And how long did you took the first time you ever was interested in this? And how long did you took to paint it and all? I had to say this for the first time, though, it's for about 10 15 hours. 10 hours? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so the whole day you just was yeah, on so it? It was hard because why I took about 10 hours. One thing is that how I'm going to do, gonna do this. Then one thing is the bad thing is during that time. The manual was in Japanese, oh. mostly in Japanese. So it was like it was like so a guessing, it was like a guessing game. It's like okay, I think this go with this, this go with this. <laughs> so now you're like getting used yeah, to it. Getting used to it, but I didn't. It can count as five and a half because I did stop for a while because of SPM during the seventeen years. But was seventeen. I stopped for a while, but after that, I just continued continue back. It's like I'm free. I'm gonna go do it. <laughs> so that's very cool for you to start from 14 and until now you're continuing it. Okay. Um, so just now you were talking about like the menu being in Japanese, it was difficult for you to cope up and all. So you finally managed to do it and now you're okay with it. So are you planning on taking Japanese as a third language and learning further about it? Yes, possible I'm going to take Japanese as a third language because I feel like, yeah, it's kind of like Japanese language is very yeah. easy. For me, it's kind of easy because some some huh? Japanese sometimes has the hiragana and katakana. So katakana and they could say have the two different language, but sometimes they I forgot which one is the they, they borrow the Japanese language. They borrow the so Chinese language. So you know language. Japanese, yeah. Then, that. Yeah. So I know a bit Japanese language. There, so it's like you know, let's go for Japanese language. Yeah. So you so can eat it. Yeah. Since it was mixed, since Japanese did borrow some words from Chinese, so it feels like. It's a big help. <laughs> so do you know Chinese? No. Yes, actually, oh. I am. I did study Chinese before. Oh, that's so cool. So after this, you can so speak this one is my fourth English. Cool. Okay, so that was one of the challenges while doing the Gundam yeah. and all. So what other challenges you passed by when this picture challenge to you? I have to say, but yeah, sometimes it's the how the community view on us and they. They feel like we are the degenerate side to say. It's like it's a they, they feel like we are outcast and like we are unsocialized. But yeah, I feel bad. It's like I'm the guy who loves to talk. It's like you want to talk to me? I I'm, I'm okay with it. Let's go. And you want to be friends with me? Let's go. But the problem is how yeah, the community judgment. the judgmental on the hobby itself. So this guy did this thing. He's collecting toys. No. It's like no, no, it's not, it's not, let's do let's don't friend with him. It's like what? That's how the big it was a bias was I when I, I was in uh, I was in middle school. It's like so hard. It's like, and I just keep the hobby to myself. Just keep the side to myself. So I rarely met other people. Yeah, but until now I. Uh, but it's good that you're still doing yeah. it despite the society being yeah. judgmental on you. Yeah, but still, but I didn't recently found. But I'm um, like the Kobiki actually builds it, so I'm kind of comfortable with it. So. So I feel like we're gonna change. We're gonna try to change the community's view on this hobby. Yeah. Based on how the human view is, so we're gonna try to change it. I show people actually we are show we are the people who actually was more socialized, but actually much more socialized than we than they thought we are. So that's how it goes. Okay, do you want to shout out your account to YouTube people? Okay, I'm gonna share my account here. It's like. You know, my Instagram account is Shazani Xia Double O S Y A Z A N I E X I A Double Zero. And show me more, man. Yes, and please follow him, guys. He he has a lot of interesting Gundam stuff on his profile. Besides that, I've spoken before. Besides that, I also have sometimes adventures, like what my personal adventures. So you can just just hit him up. Do follow him on his account. And yeah, don't forget to follow Yujan TV on Instagram and subscribe to Yujan TV's YouTube channel. Thank you so much.
much as any for coming to our thoughts of segment today. You have really inspired many UTEP students and I bet many students would love to follow your footsteps. Yeah, welcome for the for inviting me and yes, I will continue to inspire you more to join this hobby. So let's go. And we are signing off from UTEP TV to our segment today. Bye! Sayonara! Sayonara!